Hey, what's going on guys? Terribly Tactical back at the tabletop with another firearm overview and that is over the Walther PPK. That's right, James Bond's gun. Super iconic, probably one of the most iconic pistols around other than like, you know, an old Smith or Colt revolver or a 1911 and they're just absolutely awesome, very well made and such a classic piece that I had to have one. So we're going to get into it. But I'm super stoked to have this. Uh, I waited about eight months as soon as I heard that Walther was re-releasing the PPK. I'm a huge James Bond fan. I grew up watching all the movies, and they're just such classics. And, and iconically, you know, you always see Bond with, with the PPK. That's his gun, and he gets the job done with it. And so I had to have them for myself. I put the order in as soon as I found out, you know, read an article, saw it online, that they were, they were bringing them back. And it's been years now since you were able to get one. Inner Arms was doing them, then Smith was doing them, and whatever. But now we have it, Walther. Shout out to Walther for bringing such a classic back to the modern age so we all can enjoy it. And uh, let's dive right into it, guys. So first off, comes in the box. It's a black polymer plastic, you know, box. Okay, no big deal. Simple little box. It's got the little latches for a lock. You can th thread a padlock or some kind of, you know, lock through there open it up bam foam padded let's get that out of the way um you're gonna get the gun inside like a plastic rust preventative bag or whatever and then underneath it you're gonna have a spare magazine the manual lock little chamber flag uh did they give me a cool little sticker doesn't look like it it's all right i'll let them slide on the sticker this one time uh but let's get this out of the way and get to the gun because that's what you guys are here for that's why you clicked on the video and we'll do just that a little oily got to keep her nice and purdy all right so here it is guys here it is walther ppk in all of its glory um had to get the k there's a k they offer a k and an s the s has a longer grip frame as well as a magazine that holds one more round and uh, that's just not traditional. When Bond, you know, skinned the smoke wagon, it was a PPK, not a PPKS. Uh, they offer, they also offer this in stainless as well as the PPKS in stainless, as opposed to black is what Walther is calling it. It's no longer a blue, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, Bond had a black PPK. It was really a blued PPK. And uh, it was really a 32 ACP where these are 380. But for a modern self-defense style carry gun, 380 definitely blows 32 ACP out of the water. With modern loadings, you're going to be just fine. And uh, this would be a hell of a classy carry gun. So I bought it just for nostalgia, just to have one in the collection. But I absolutely love it. And if I ever find myself in a tuxedo, I'll probably carry this. It's got to be in a shoulder holster, though. I'll tell you what. So let's give you a look at the gun. She's definitely all oiled up because I don't want my little baby to rust. But 380 ACP, Walther Arms, um, Fort Smith, Arizona, USA. What I read, and I don't know if it's still true, um, is that the slides of these guns were being made in Germany. And the frames are being made stateside. That way, you know, when it comes in, they assemble it. And technically, they can say it's made in the U.S. You know, for import laws and stuff like that. I don't know if they're making the slides here in the U.S. now. Or if that changed or, or what it is. But uh, that's what I read. Uh, if you guys know, leave in the comment section below, you know, what you know about that. But just a beautiful classic gun. You got your traditional plastic Walther grips. Um, decent texture. But, you know, not like any type of stippling or anything like that. Got your double single action, uh, you know, traditional and the only way that a PPK ever came in my uh, knowledge of it with the uh, safety decocker. So, you know, hammer's back, you drop the hammer by hitting the decocking lever, which also puts it on safe. So if you wanted to fire, you'd have to sweep that up and then you got your first pull and double action. Uh, magazine release, trigger, magazine, we'll talk about the magazine, little tiny cute guy. Uh, it is a six round mag. So the PPKS has a seven round mag. The PPK being a little bit shorter does have six rounds and then obviously plus one in the pipe. And uh, if you're going to carry it, always put one in the pipe because you never know what could happen. You got to be ready for it. Uh, magazine release, you know, traditional spot, easy to actuate, shoots the mag out of there. No problems whatsoever. Just a really nice ergonomic feel. 
The tang, the beaver tail, is a little bit longer than what's the norm, the traditional uh, size of it. But what that does is it allows you to get a little higher on the gun and still not get slide bitten. So when you're shooting, you know, the slide's going to come back and that keeps your hand down and out of the way so you don't get the meat right here pinched or cut up, which I like that feature a lot. Um, maybe not 100% true to the, the original design, but a welcome benefit for sure. Uh, love the little grooves and flat top on the slide. I always thought that was classy. Uh, it looks really good, and then at the same time, too, it does cut down on glare a little bit, even though this is not a super lustrous finish to begin with. Back to that, I don't know um, exactly what the finish is. Walther just lists it as black. So I'm thinking from the look of it and the feel of it, it's some kind of black oxide or maybe tenifer I heard rumors of that they were using. Uh, maybe some kind of a matte melanite, something to that effect. Either way, um, bluing is not the strongest of finishes. So a newer style finish, an actual impregnation of the metal uh, is going to help it you know, from wearing and corroding as much as a blue gun. But a blue gun is just classic for the PPK. It's a little shinier, a little classier. And uh, when a nice blue gun wears in, it looks really good. But either way, I'm not going to complain. I got one and I'm happy to have it. There's the typical uh, beautiful profile. The, the, the lines on this gun are so classic, so iconic, so sexy. It's just, it's, it's an awesome gun. Uh, points really well in the hand. Feels really well in the hand, even though I'm a bigger guy, I got bigger hands. Uh, with the little pinky extension on the mag, uh, which the, the spare mag does not have. I'm sure you can get separately, but the spare mag is flush. Uh, I get the three fingers on there. Feels good. Points really well. Let's take a look at the uh, sight picture. We've got black milled into the slide sights. And we've got like the stacking the snowman or dotting the eye kind of deal going on where uh, we got a red dot in back, and then we also have a red dot up front. And uh, there's there's good air in between the, the sights as far as the front and the rear, and there's a good height to them. It's not too tall, and it's not too much air in between. Uh, you can pick them up relatively quick, but at the same time, uh, you can be pretty precise with them. I have not shot this one yet. I have shot the new Walthers, though. Uh, a couple of guys at the shop had them and let me shoot them and uh, very 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 nice shooting gun a lot of guys complain about uh, them being snappy or that it's beating up their hand right back here because it's a blowback design so you do get a little bit more recoil than uh, you know a more modern design with a a tilting barrel this is a fixed barrel so it comes apart you know traditionally you pull the trigger down move it to the side slide goes back up and then forward and comes off and then your recoil spring is over the barrel uh, so it's PPK through and through for sure. Just just excellent all the way around. Uh, super, super stoked to have this. I was definitely not going to settle for a Bursa um, or, you know, an old like Smith or something. Those those weren't known to be the best per se. You know, it w is what it is. Let's go over some quick specs now that we're a little bit through my opinion of it, which obviously, guys, I freaking love this thing. It, it's It's awesome. I'm so happy to have it. Um, and if you guys want to pick one up too, the model number for this specific gun is 4796002. So that's for the PPK in black. Again, I don't know exactly specifically what um, finish that is. It's not blued, unfortunately, but that's what it is. Uh, 380 ACP, as we already talked about, which in modern ammunition is, is a, a good round. It's not a 9mm by any means, and it sure ain't a 45. But if Bond could get it done with a 32, I think you could do it with a 380. Uh, barrel length 3.3 inches and then let's talk about the trigger. So the gun is unloaded, uh, not that it matters. You know this is my channel, my gun, I treat them how I want but we are going to be messing with the trigger so it is what it is. Uh, quick note too if you guys are not familiar with PPKs, they do not have a slide release. They do have a slide stop however so if the gun was empty it will lock back. But Unless there was a loaded mag in it, uh, you're not going to be able to rack the slide and drop it. There's no button to drop it, so you have to drop the mag and then let it go forward. So that is what it is. Uh, that's how the de design is, and I'm glad they didn't change it to uh, meet the needs of today's modern market. So there are, Walther's claiming that the double action is 13.4 pounds and the single ash action is 6.1 pounds. Now, whether that's true or not, 
is one thing, but the actual feel of the trigger and the actual, you know, weight is, it's pretty smooth and it feels pretty light comparatively speaking to other Walther PPKs that I've shot and handled before. So let's take a look at the, uh, the double action. So we're, we got initial, we got a little bit of take up, a little bit of take up, couple millimeters of take up. And then we have, uh, we're at a wall and then it starts coming back, 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 and then it breaks. And then the reset for double action would be all the way out, but it wouldn't, it would reset to single action because it's a double single action gun. And uh, so then in single action, we've got a little bit of take up, a little bit of take up, you're at the wall. And then a nice, crisp, clean break. They're saying, like I said, 13.4 on the double action. Um, I don't think it's that heavy. It doesn't feel that heavy, and it's really, really smooth. Let's check out the reset. Ooh, nice, short, crisp reset, and a really nice, light, crisp break. Um, they're saying that's 6.1 pounds. It feels closer to, like, high fours or five. Um, but either way, that's what they're saying. Not going to argue. But I do beg to differ. Uh, <laughs> capacity, we went over 6 plus 1. The height, you're looking at 3.8 inches. Uh, I do believe that's with the flush fitting mag or just the bottom of the grip going upwards. So it's a nice uh, carryable size for sure. Although it's a little bit heavy uh, for its size. Being an all steel gun, which I love. You guys know I love an all metal gun, especially when it's hammer fired. Uh, 19 ounces. 19 ounces. So... You know, you're getting into uh, Glock 19 territory, definitely Glock 26 territory, and it's a single stack 380, but it's all steel. It's a classic, iconic gun. If you want to carry James Bond's gun, now you can. So uh, I'm super stoked on this. I'm definitely going to shoot it. It's going to be an occasional range piece for me, um, but mostly it's just part of the collection because I love the Bond movies. I grew up with them. It's part of my childhood. I always wanted a PPK. I remember having a couple of them in BB gun format, airsoft gun format growing up, and I always wanted a real one for myself. And I'm glad that Walther brought them back. And, uh, you know, they're not super cheap by any means. It's a highly, you know, well-made German firearm, just like with the H&Ks and stuff. They tend not to be super cheap. Uh, the new ones are going around, you know, high sevens, uh, as far as the price, you know, uh, but I think it's worth it. The fit and finish is absolutely immaculate. It's beautiful. I think they got some of the best triggers on the guns that they ever did. And, uh, it's a, it's a totally viable self-defense option, carry gun, you know, little house gun, keep it in the sock drawer, but mostly it's just freaking cool, man. So that's the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have not already, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, because that stuff helps out my channel a ton. You guys have no idea. Uh, if you want to help support your Second Amendment rights, the first few links in my description box below are to the GOA, ISRA if you're out of Illinois, and Firearm Policy Coalition. They, they all do a lot of good work to help promote and further our Second Amendment rights. And then if you guys want to help out me and my channel and support me, there's a bunch of links and um, discount codes and stuff like that where if you shop with them, I do get a little bit of a commission, which goes right back into the channel to do more cool stuff like this. And uh, until next time, guys, stay tuned because I got a lot more cool stuff coming up next. Peace.